Yo guys, what's up? Carolyn here and welcome back to another video on the channel. As you guys can see, we're an ultimate team and today we're going to be reviewing 84 rated Storyline Muhammad Kubus. So anyway, heading into the player bio on the card, he is 5 foot 10 tall with medium medium work rates, left foot primarily with 4 star skills and unfortunately he does have a 3 star weak foot. Anyway, like I said, he is a season Storyline card so he is free, I assume all of you will get to level 15 just by playing the game so he doesn't really require much effort. Anyway moving on to the attribute details, by the way he can start as sentiment or camp so that's the positions I'm going to be trying him in. But anyway heading into the attribute details, he's got 92 pace, he is pretty quick. Shooting I gave him the dead eye chem style and wood that he does get plus 4 to the attack positioning taking it up to 85, finishing goes up to 84, shot power goes up to 91, long shots going up by 2 to 77 and penalties going up to 73. Passing on the card looks pretty decent as well, he does have 90 vision with 94 short pass, 83 long pass and 75 curve. When it comes down to the dribbling on the card it looks ridiculous especially with the 90 agility and 98 balance coupled with the pace I'm expecting him to feel ridiculously fast on and off the ball. When it comes down to the rest of the dribbling stats we got 85 ball control and dribbling and the other two stats are pretty decent. The defending on the card is pretty decent as well. It has a 75 stand tackle and some pretty solid interception stats etc. The physical stats on the card as well is pretty solid. It's got 85 jumping and stamina with 83 strength and 75 aggression so you can definitely play this guy as center mid and he should be pretty decent actually. But anyway you guys saw the traits. He's got the flare trait and the flare trait only. With that being said, we're going to jump straight into the gameplay highlights with Mohamed Kudus and straight off the bat here, we're going to get a goal contribution. Broby moves it onto him and look at the dribbling on his card, keeps it really close. Can he hold off Ruben Diaz? Yes, he can. Makes a good pass into Kevin De Bruyne who takes a touch, goes for goal and finds the back of the net. Ridiculous finish by De Bruyne but brilliant dribbling by Mohamed Kudus there to keep the ball from those couple of players in centre mid and then make the pass to De Bruyne. Very good work from him and we do end up scoring. Here in the next clip, great skill and unfortunately the shot on the 3 star weak foot, the volley is over the bar. Heading on to the next clip in this match, De Bruyne moves it on to Kudus, it's a good touch, get past Mori, I went with a chip shot, that was a shot, not a cross, that was a shot and um, unfortunately it's going wide but probably is there to tuck it away into the back of the net, easy finish. By the way, the only problem I have with this card uh, as of right now are the links. I will talk more on that in a second but look at the dribbling here from Mohamed Kudus. Ridiculous work, he loses it and he makes sure to win it back and he keeps it and somehow from an extremely tight position he has managed to wriggle away from everybody and switch to places that we could retain possession. Anyway moving on to the next clip, just going to test out his pace here, accelerate through the gap, go for goal and the keeper makes a good save and unfortunately we still are goalless with Mohamed Kudus in this video. Heading on to the next clip here again. Good dribbling from Kudus, keeps the ball really close to his feet, gets the pass into Kevin De Bruyne, ball roll, launches that ball into Harry Wilson, ball roll again, gets past Nicolas Sule and smashes it into the back of the net. Great finish by Wilson but all that possible because of that brilliant hold up play by Mohamed Kudus and we were able to get a goal from it. Heading into the next clip here, the first goal of this video with Kudus, ball roll, outside foot shot, finds the back of the net, ridiculous finish by Mohamed Kudus and we do get the first goal of this video and what a belter it is from the man from Ghana. Anyway moving on to the next clip here, Kevin De Bruyne has it, gets it into Kudus, a chance to get another goal with him, tested out the finesse shots and it is very central and the keeper does make an easy save. Here Mascherano gets it into De Bruyne, Kudus is in the midfield, I'm gonna just try play that wall pass using Mohamed Kudus to get it back into Kevin De Bruyne. Can we get an assist for Kudus here when we cut inside, go for goal and we do score another outside foot shot. These are supposed to be passed but I'm not complaining because what a goal from De Bruyne and because of it we do get an assist with Kudus just drops back a little, holds his run and is able to make that wall pass off into De Bruyne. He had saw a finesse shot earlier and try another one here. Mohamed Kudus from a lot further out and he's almost able to find the back of the net. What a shot from Mohamed Kudus and it, unfortunately it is just wide. Anyway moving on then, Wilson with a failed rainbow flick but Kudus has a chair going to use that speed and he takes it past the legs. big chance for him, are you going to finesse it? No, cancel that shot, play that cross and Broby is there for the tap in. By the way that does remind me of the problem with this Kudus card, you guys notice that he is on 2 chem and 
unfortunately to get him on full chemistry you are going to need quite a few Ajax players because the Ghana links aren't that great probably only in Yankee Williams that you can link him up with but anyway yeah another assist for Kudus in the background since it through for the Ajax teammate Robbie who tucks it away yeah, in the next clip in this match, to get a goal and assist, smashes the penalty into the top bins. 73 penalties is a lie. He's able to find the top corner from that one. And we do get, like I said, a goal and an assist so far in this match. Heading on to the next clip here, De Bruyne plays a beautiful cross into the box, testing out the heading on Mohamed Kudus. And unfortunately, it is straight at the goalkeeper who makes the save. Here though, heading into the next match, Kudus with some brilliant drilling, keeps it going, cuts inside and again, finesses it straight at the goalkeeper you're going to see a chain of missed chances here from Mohamed Kudus and he's going to get another chance here this time on three star weak foot and again he hits it straight at the goalkeeper one more chance here Kudus has it receives a pass from Wilson going to use that speed look at the pace on the card and again the keeper makes a save that time not so straightforward but regardless uh, didn't really connect with it as I would have hoped here three star weak foot fancy shots and it is against the post he absolutely refused to score in this game it was honestly infuriating but here can we finally get a goal with him trigger that run almost runs into De Bruyne but who cares brilliant pass Chupo Martin Mohamed Kudus finally finally tucks it away my god it only took him like 17 shots in this match but he finally gets the goal and it is the goal to win us that game heading into the next clip here De Bruyne has it Kudus plays a good pass into Wilson who goes onto his right foot and hits the post again but regardless we are able to score because this guy's goalkeeper tackles him but again no complaints because we do take the lead from this heading on to the next clip here De Bruyne with a good drumming cuts it back to Mohamed Kudus and I'm really expecting him to score that especially with the 91 shot power but unfortunately it is a tame effort and the keeper makes another save on to the next clip here Wilson into Kudus and then drive forward with it face shot go for goal and finally Finally, he connects with the shot somewhat decently and it flies in to the top corner. Brilliant hit from Kudus. That was the last clip of this video. And now, with that being said, it is time to review the card. And in six games, he managed four goals and four assists, which honestly, from the cam position and from the sentiment position in a 4 on 2 on 2 narrow, isn't too bad at all. I was pretty surprised that he did manage to get these goal contributions, but it honestly could have been so many more goals for this Mohamed Kudus card and, and another assist as well unfortunately Wilson did hit the post but anyway with that being said I'm going to rank each category out of 10 and let you guys know so when it comes down to the pace on the card it is pretty good he is pretty fast and you are expecting him to be pretty fast so for the pace I'm going to give him a 9.5 out of 10 this guy feels very quick on the ball and he is so for pace 9.5 out of 10 the shooting honestly the shooting isn't great 8 out of 10 because the finishing is kind of average and when it comes down to the shooting from outside the box again kind of average he will get it on target every now and then like that outside foot shot he will get it on target every now and then like that finish shot from like that other shot sorry from outside the box or the edge of the box but all in all the shooting from outside the box isn't great doesn't really connect with it very well and he does only have 75 long shots so i mean it does make sense but the finishing was appalling on this card some of the easy chances that he missed you guys saw that one game i said he took 17 shots it wasn't actually 17 but he did take quite a lot of shots to only score one goal from that was completely unexpected so for shooting he does get an 8 out of 10 passing however is very good i'm gonna give him an 8.5 out of 10 because the short passing and the long passing on this card is pretty solid he can make them pretty easily and yeah like i said passing gets an 8.5 out of 10 because you are playing him at center to mid and cam so especially if you're using my cam you're mainly going to be using him for those quick short passes and that is what he does very well dribbling on the card is sensational you guys saw this guy's left stick dribbling it is absolutely ridiculous he's able to keep the ball so well get past players weave between players and still keep the ball so the dribbling i'm actually going to give him a 9 out of 10 he does feel very responsive and because of the agility balance and pace he does dribble very quickly so for dribbling actually no 9 out of 10 is a bit high i'm going to give him an 8.9 out of 10. when it comes down to the defending pretty solid he can put in a pretty decent tackle and keep the ball from it as you guys saw he did once or twice in this video so for defending i'm going to give him a 7 out of 10 it is decent enough to play him at sentiment Physical on the card, again, pretty good. He's decently strong, is able to hold up players while using the 92 pace to run past them. So for physical, he is going to get an 8.4 out of 10. Now, should you take this card from Storyline? 100%. I think, although he's hard to link, he's easier to link than the other two players. 
Is he good enough to start in your team? It does depend on what your team looks like. But if you can get him on full chemistry and start him, I do think that this card deserves a start. So with that being said, the best camp style for this card, I would say, is the Deadeye camp style. Pace does not need a boost, but the shooting needs as big of a boost as you can possibly give it. So best camp style, I would say, is the Deadeye camp style, especially if you are playing him at camp. With that being said, I do bring it into the video. If you liked it, smash the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until then guys, stay tuned for the next one. Peace.